This is a fake air vent found in Normandy, and uh, this is exactly what it would be used for. Talk about Uno reverse card. I know war is chaotic, but like who would not see this large hole? I guess they look like two different air vents. I'm assuming if you throw it into the one at the bottom, you'll be able to maybe escape. Probably not. The Burning Man Exodus. This was in Black Rock City, Nevada, which ended up being a 10 hour long traffic jam. This really also just proves that like more lanes doesn't necessarily mean less traffic. Oh, you can see it's not terrible. I mean, there is like a little bit of a curve. The road is at least visible back here. What could have possibly been going on where every single lane was blocked out like there must have been some sort of gate were they checking on people i don't know also there does seem to be like a light barricade so people can't just go out into the desert i'm sure they really wanted to though this is an open-aired school back in the netherlands in 1957 in the beginning of the 20th century a movement towards open-aired schools took place in europe classes were taught in forests so that students would benefit physically and mentally from the clean air and sunlight i guess sometimes they did have a roof over their head but the walls were like super open. Initially, I was actually like really excited about this idea until I saw this image. This is looking really hot out there. Can we get some shade, some trees or something? Maybe looking like a red tomato after first period. I honestly wouldn't make it past the third grade with all the sunburn I'd be getting. Okay, dang it. I keep seeing more and more examples where like I wouldn't be down, whether it's like the freezing cold or just super hot. Why are they all dressed like this? Overall, I think I'm down. I just need some sort of roof over my head. I do think it would overall work if you have the perfect climate. The problem is it's in Europe and then what do you do? Do in the winter like we could probably benefit a lot from this here in california just because our weather is usually so nice ah there's a good idea maybe just do it once a week hmm, something else to maybe think about is that they might have to deal with mosquitoes now, this was a big idea introduced in the 50s i also know that school children in the 50s at least that lived in france were allowed to drink wine at lunch imagine being out there in the third grade in the forest somewhere just sipping on your wine remember what they took from you donnie dunnigan was the youngest u.s marine drill instructor he served three tours in vietnam and was wounded several times retiring his major in 1977. Throughout his career, he managed to keep a secret that he had been the voice of Bambi in the 1942 Disney film. Now I'm just imagining Bambi with like an angry, mean marine voice. So obviously this film was released in 1942, which means he probably filmed it in like 1941. So he probably didn't end up in Vietnam until like 20 years later, but that's still a crazy secret to keep. You definitely don't want that to get out. What's messed up is someone in the military found out that he was Bambi, and it sounds like they used it as blackmail, or maybe they were just joking. And this man is still alive today. He also portrayed the young son of Baron Frankenstein and the son of Frankenstein? What a legend! This Korean newscast actually decided to film on top of a building instead of using a green screen. And it looks so real that I don't think I would have even noticed. But then again, this image is like in 240p quality. This seems like kind of a dangerous working place. What if they trip or fall back? Uh, it was a Korean news channel, but it was actually filmed in the Hanoi, Vietnam skyline. I'm sure the sound dudes just loved this. I feel like we should make it mandatory for all newscasts to do this. Gives them more character. Here's an early 1900s firefighter suit in order to get closer to the fire. This looks like something straight out of like Bioshock. Would this technically work too? I mean, I don't see why not. Actually, no, I can see this totally not working at all. What am I talking about? Imagine you're trapped and your apartment's on fire and then this guy busts in trying to save you. Bet you anything, I'll start hearing boss music. I have to fight him get more XP. I've been seeing this footage everywhere. The actual source of this is this came from a Canadian inventor which is supposed to be a grizzly bear suit and this is him testing it. Clearly seems like it works. I mean especially if the grizzly bear gets behind the wheel of a truck and drives it into you. Is this where Master Chief got his inspiration? This is looking very like Halo to me. Why am I making all these video game references? This guy is clearly an absolute legend and people wonder why girls live longer than boys. <laughs> Blue Babe is a perfectly preserved steppe bison found completely by chance in Alaska back in 1979. The animal died 36,000 years ago but was preserved so well that researchers were able to cook and eat a part of its neck muscle. I didn't need to know that but alright. Why do these things look so jacked too? What exercises are they doing for their traps? I'm sorry but there's no way this is natty. I had a feeling these things were pretty massive too. Maybe not the largest out there, but um, I could feed like a whole town for a whole year, I think. What a nuclear bomb actually looks like. Wait, are you telling me it doesn't actually look like a little boy or fat man? This looks like it's rigged to some sort of spaceship or space shuttle. When do they look so futuristic? Is that part of the design? Is this an ICBM? Is That's what I'm wondering. And these things just look so different than what 
what they used to. Now I'm just going to assume a lot of nuclear devices look very different. They all have their own style and they look sometimes pretty classic. This snow cone, however, looks pretty unconventional though. It's crazy that these guys are just like standing right next to it too. I'm assuming it's not charged or something. They didn't plug it in. This is the clearest image of Venus from the Soviet spacecraft back in 1982. Why is the first thing I'm thinking about is since it was in 1982, like I imagine the colors probably don't actually look like this. That was just how we registered the colors back with this old video technology. Or maybe that's like some sort of infrared or some, whatever, infrared yellow. Then again, Googling what the surface of Venus would actually look like, it's pretty much bringing back the same exact results. It just looks like Mars, to be honest, except probably like it's way worse. I know that Venus is like a hellish place. Inside what is known as a Hong Kong coffin home. This would be nice if it wasn't just a coffin, but horrible in any other like living situation. So you can pretty much just lay down and eat beans. Also, maybe watch TV. We didn't have to desaturate the image this much, although I can see why you probably did that for the effect. Wait, so I'm confused. Is this part of their room as well? Or I don't know. They do need a restroom, I guess, right? Imagine your coffin home only has this. I mean, at least you have a place to sit. You managed to squeeze a lot of things in here, even some nice appliances, a kitchen. This is very cluttery, but I guess when you only have like a very small room, that's like three yards by three yards, you got to put everything together. Okay, I'm literally getting claustrophobic just looking at these images. Some situations are slightly better than others, though. Even in LA, this would still cost you like a grand a month. These photos are absolutely brilliant. Long before color sensitive film was invented, this Russian photographer took three individual black and white photos, each with a filter red, blue, and green to create high quality photos in full color. This image, believe it or not, is actually over 110 years old. I thought this was just like 50 years ago. There's a really interesting water effect too. Is it like with some sort of high exposure? This looks like fog. Did you take them all three at the same time or did you have to take one with the blue filter, get up, put the red one on, go sit down again? Here are more images that he took. These are so high quality. I this is honestly hard to believe. Are these not like digitally restored now or is this really what it looked like? I wonder why this didn't get out to everyone. Why didn't we have like really nice photos like just 90 years ago if you've discovered this 110? I'm going to assume this process was not easy to replicate. Maybe he was like the only one to be able to do it. This is Kaiser Wilhelm II in Germany back in 1913. If only he knew what was going to happen exactly one year later. Speaking of high quality images, did that one dude take this photo? This is looking great. Clearly this man wasn't too focused on winning that whole war. He was just focused on the drip. He literally looks like some sort of star. Star Wars character almost. And that wasn't even the only time he was out here serving on him. What a crazy time for fashion. Actually, maybe we should bring this back. This chimpanzee lives in a North Korean zoo and smokes about a pack a day. Apparently, she even knows how to light it too. Yo, what kind of experiments is North Korea doing out here? Clearly, they're hiding something in the hermit kingdom. Or maybe just about everything needs to take the edge off when living in North Korea. This is genuinely one of the craziest images I think I've ever seen in my life. And this isn't even the first chimp to have been addicted. It's happened before. Oh, I guess Sam Monella made an old Zoo. video about Purely this. I completely forgot about that. Man, I miss him. This man is known as the Last Knight. He lived in Czechoslovakia until 1945 like a real knight in a castle without electricity or cars. He even attacked German tanks on his horse in full armor during WW2. I want to play a video game with him as the main character. Imagine running around World War II just like shanking people. This is exactly why we need to bring back Czechoslovakia. Just so more men like him pop up. This 104 year old tattoo artist from the Philippines is the only remaining traditional Kelly Linga Tattooist. You actually don't take a tattoo choice to this woman. She first decides if you're worthy and then she tattoos what she wants. That is so much more epic. I have no tattoos currently, but I feel like if she thought I was down, I would just have to do it. I feel like that's what we should be doing nowadays. Something that feels more right about that. Go to like an epic tattoo artist and then they decide what fits good with you. So the internet is shut down in Iran. Here's the network connectivity throughout all of September and then all of a sudden, bam, it goes all the way down. This country is currently dealing with widespread protests. I'm assuming they're doing this to avoid any bigger protests organized through the internet. It's gonna be a very big deal in the coming days. One of the last people to live in an iron lung. At six years old, Alexander was diagnosed with polio, which led to paralysis from his neck down. The machine is made to compress and depress the chest. Today, he's 74 years old, and he still relies on the iron lung to keep him alive. Hey, let's look at the bright side. It looks like he's still out here eating good. I've heard the term iron lung so much that I forgot what it was originally supposed to be. So they lay here like this, and you can see as the 
the diagram shows how it helps you compress and depress the chest. Is the whole thing actually made out of iron? That's the real question. Crazy how some look even more futuristic than others. This one here is from Germany. Is that where the head goes? Why does the whole thing need to be like encompassed? Among the crown jewels on display today at Queen Elizabeth's funeral was the Royal Scepter, which contains the largest clear-cut diamond in the world, known as the Great Star of Africa. The diamond was mined in the south of Africa in 1905 and has an estimated worth of $400 million. Any item known to man looks like it's able to banish you to the Shadow Realm. I think it's gotta be this one. And it looks like she's had this thing for quite some time. I don't wanna be knighted with a sword. Just hit me in the head with this a couple times. I feel way more respected. Man, can we bring back scepters? I really want a scepter. For the first time in history, Australia will soon have decimal coins in circulation bearing the face of a monarch other than Queen Elizabeth II. This is because Elizabeth II has been queen for the entire time Australia has had decimal currency? That is absolutely insane. I completely forgot about that. I always forget that she basically lived to see pretty much all of the British overseas territories leave and become independent. In a way, if you're a red country that isn't in Europe right now or the British Isles, Queen Elizabeth was older than you. So insane that she can like somewhat maybe technically be older than a country, or at least older than its current government. The weather at Death Valley National Park, 129 degrees Fahrenheit or 59 degrees Celsius. And this actually isn't very surprising. This is, I think, the place with the hottest recorded temperature on Earth. Death Valley holds the record for the highest air temperature on the planet in July 1913. It was 134. Wow, so that one picture was only five degrees off. Luckily, it's not always super hot, although it is still like nearing 110 and it's literally the middle of September. And big thanks to My Wife Hates This Part. My name is Walter Hartwell White. Drew's Argentinian the Poles, Grandpa. The California and Nevada bring back Poland Balls. The Morgan Fist Seven Sears. $20 is a lot. A lot Chris Dickens, Sam Sebastian, Evan Price, Gamer Spice, Robert Pound, Lover, Matt Phillips, Ron Terrell, and Animation Chachi. Why am I doing this?